welcome back everyone to EU4 as Japan and we have just annexed our vassal Chuff Chuvini. <laughs> Very interesting name. Um, so yeah, we now have Japanese, uh, let, me sh let me show you that. Uh, we've got Japanese Kamshatka, uh, which is kind of cool. Just kind of a little outpost here. Um, looks kind of nice. I, don't, I like it. Um, and that gave us enough uh, prestige so that we finished our mission. 100 extra admin points. And now, let's see if that is going to be enough to get the spawn here. Um, so it's currently stalled. Ah, yeah. Okay, so we need one more admin point. Okay, so there it is. We now have gotten printing press in... Kyoto, and we get enough money to immediately embrace it. So we'll do that, of course. Uh, that will reduce our tech cost, and I will also get rid of this edict because we don't need it anymore. Now I could go for um, for the edict to spread it faster around the around our countries. There's no need for that because uh, we don't have enough points to get any new technology right now, anyway. So it's it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is this is the biggest. Uh, biggest city I've ever had, the biggest province, uh, 67 development. That's really amazing. In fact, I even got the I even got the achievement for it. Um, city of cities, own a core province with 60 development. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, but this is I, I will not uh, improve the development any further than that. I think that's that's fine. It's it's been uh, it's become a yeah expensive enough, I should say. So there we are. But anyway, um, I have finished this fortress here. I finished the siege of this fortress. And I actually wanted to go back to... Uh, I actually wanted to go back to uh, defeat these rebels. But I'm not sure. We might get attacked here beforehand. We'll have to see. I'm actually going to bring my cavalry in just to be sure. Just so we have a little bit of a stronger force. And um, we'll now attack these rebels. We'll besiege that, and that's fine. We also have the mission now. I've took a new mission to colonize Palu, and that's something we'll do because that will increase our settler, our settler increase. Um, so that's going to be nice. Okay, so we'll attack you, and we'll actually send you guys here. You will wait for a little bit. Yes. So we'll just take this out. Um. Then we'll pick you up and we'll bring you back here because much of hey, does got that does have quite a few men. Oh, they want to attack me. I could feel it. Like Twenty-five thousand men. That's pretty insane. Okay, so we've got this. Let's quickly pick up my men. And we've already beaten them once, but they're still strong. Oh, all right, fine. We'll go here then. That's okay. Although we would be the ones getting the defensive penalty. Uh, he's already coming for the defensive advantage. Um, Alright, we'll go in and crush you. That's going well. So he's even retreating. And we now have less land attrition. And we can go back as well. Sweet. Okay, I will send our cab out. Because we don't need that. And I'll actually send you to... Uh, never mind, I can't. We'll have to wait for this fortress to fall. Except if I send my ships out, can I do it? No, I can't. Interesting. Um, well, let's get you in the boats. Get you around here. And I can't move you. All right, fine. We'll wait for this fortress to fall then. That's okay. So yeah, we still got tons of money left after this, and I think I will, I will spend this on on some more buildings. Actually, no, that's not true. I need to do something else. Let me quickly check out if we can make the merchants. First of all, grant new world charter. That's good because that's gonna make uh, our colonies grow faster. Can I draft ships for war? I've already done that. I cannot do that for another 13 years. So we'll have to build heavy ships because we need to compete with the Chinese navy. Um, so yeah, I need five. I was actually build a uh, template there, five, just net, call this heavy, whoops, there you go, heavy, and we'll, we'll build, well, five of them, I suppose, they're particularly quick down here, so yeah, let's buy, build five ships, then we have 15 heavies, we've got 23 transports, we don't have any galleys, but I think that's fine, should I maybe build should I maybe build five more? 
Maybe I should. I don't have the money for it. 270. Well, we should be there quickly. I'm actually making some really decent amount of money. Uh, amount of money. All right. Um, so with that done, I'll send you to the mark. I'll send you here and these two cavalry over here. Need to send the transports around as well. And we kind of need to... Wait, where's the... I don't know where their army went, but kind of disappeared. Uh, which is funny. Alright, so this has been taken. Let's go and take their capital. Do we now have the ticking war score? Yes, we've got Daymark under control, so we can... Yeah, sweet. Uh, we'll send you guys... Uh, we actually lost the leader. I could go for a new one. Or I could grant generalship. I will do that instead. And let's see. Uh, four fire. It's not bad. Um, and we'll go here. Yeah. So we'll see. Oh, they're over here. Look at that. They're over there. That, that's fine. Let them let them stay there. I will take the uh, carry out though. And we'll we'll just see what they do. We'll just actually I, I don't mind having them trapped, honestly. So that's nice. Anything else I need to do? We still uh we have, by the way, gotten our claim here on Bhutan, but because I need all my troops to fight Mala uh, Majabahid, I haven't actually sent anyone over. Oh, and we've got extra spices in Kandari. Very nice. Which is this province. Alright, even more... I love it. More spices? I love spices. Still, we need a few more. In order to get the bonus. Spice trade. I'll build this. Probably here. No, nope, that's a bad one. But it's fine. I'll just do it anyway. So we've got 20 heavy ships at the end of the day. Once they've all been built. And then I think we, are, we can take our main. And it's about time. They are about to pass their last thing, and we want to be ready for that. So yeah, that's that's going well, uh, just besieging. I guess I could also build some more troops. Russia declared a war. I can build five more troops. Well, I've got... My vassal gave me three infantry. I've got three here, so that's six. So let's build me one more cannon. So that's six infantry, two cavalry. Um, and then what can I build for more? So probably I'll build a few more cannons or something like that. But yeah, Russia is looking very scary. I mean, they are just big. And we've actually made it. We are at 50 power projection. And I haven't even sent an insult to Ming. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Just to make sure that we stay above 50. Where is it? There it is. Oops. Send insult. Mm. Sweet. And let me, let me check out the uh, institutions though. Just to make sure that it doesn't spread anywhere. It doesn't. Okay. So we are... I mean, even if we take over these provinces, it shouldn't spread anywhere. Um, so that's nice. We'll have the monopoly on these institutions. Obviously, I was spending tons of points on that. So it makes sense. Also, Majapahit, I would like to get... Um, your spice provinces. That's those four and this one. Alright. So one, two, three, four... This is the spice. This is aggressive expansion. All right. Mm. Well, I'll probably take this one as well. All right. I'll I'll probably take like this. Maybe even maybe even this. I'll take this. I I, I imagine I'll just take these provinces. Half of Machapahi in one war. Sure. Why not? I mean. This would be 86, then we'll take all your cash and war operations. It would be perfect. 100% peace deal? I'll, I'll take it. And obviously, yeah, coalitions, but who cares? I've beat most of these people in the coalition already, so there's no there's no reason to be sad about anything. All right, and that will be even more spice promises, and then hopefully we get our objective. I've really been waiting for that for quite some time now. 0%. I don't think they're even going to try and fight me. They, they know they've lost. Japanese are uh, just unstoppable. Alright, so the siege ha uh, we've... Uh, oh wow, this is actually all we need. They would uh, they would go for the PC right now. I'll take it. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Very nice indeed. Now here, I might actually keep these fortifications. Not the one in the grasslands, maybe. Grasslands, grasslands, grasslands. They're all grasslands here. But I will keep the one in the jungle. 
Yeah, this is literally... Alright, so I'll get rid of this one, but I'll keep the jungle one. Um, because, yeah, I kind of want that. Alright, so you can go back. You can go back. And we are at... Oh, shoot! Oh, well, Tidora is almost done. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is actually a lot of overextension there. Should have should have paid attention there. Um, but that's fine. Whoops. But once Tidori is done, that's fine. Um, I'll pick up a few more. We'll actually start coring right away. Yeah. Um, and I might have to focus on admin. Not sure. What I will do is I will go for new air. And please be a good one. A better one, like a 566. Six. That'd be nice. Alright, get you together. Get you together. On the boats. Still have no spice trade, dude. What the hell, man? This is what I've been waiting for. Okay, no bad events so far. Oh, lucky. Certainly lucky. You to heal up a little bit. Mm, and I will probably immediately in yeah increase this all because these guys are going to be mad down here so it's actually okay to keep an army around I know there's a faster way to do this if I go in the uh, thing but I just happened to start here so that's fine all right cool and we have oh yeah we're also building another spy network here just to take them over because they've been pissy so I'd like to just kill them and yeah B Bhutan you're the next ones. Conquer you. And I'll attack you. Actually, I can't because you've got ships there, you bastard. Send you over. Tidori is finally a core, so we are no longer over a 100 over extension. So nothing happened. That's good. Um. Wait, how many ships does this guy have? He has, he's 11 ships. Okay. Cool. And 18... Wait, I, yeah, I was just going to say, I, I should be able to move in. I, I can. So yeah, we'll take you over another Spice Province under our control. Just absolutely destroyed you. And how many men do I need to siege this? Is this just a cap? Oh, it's finally just a capital. Great. So we'll, uh, I guess we'll just leave, like, you and the cannon here. And the rest can go home. No need to suffer attrition. No need at all. All right. Um, a new AF 325 with an average claim. <sighs> yep, I'll go for that. I'll declare my air because that's better. Because we had a... She's three points better than the one we had before. I think that's fine. Okiko, we'll take her. And purchase a new ability. Hmm. Religion enforced. Nope. Coastal barrage. Probably. Um, institution spread. Prestige. Per development from missionary. Nope. I'll go for Coastal Barrage. Because if we got a... We, we need a strong navy to win against Ming anyways. If we have a weaker navy than Ming, there's no way we're going to win. So, either way, we have to have the stronger navy. And then, we might as well use them to besiege uh, their their coast and siege it down quicker. Okay, so this war is about to be won. In fact, you know what I will do? We'll send you three guys. Actually, no, that's stupid. We'll just stay here. That's okay. And no peace. And I don't have any points. But that's okay. I don't need any points. Alright. Now I think what I will actually... After I've colonized this one province here... I will probably start colonizing maybe down here. Uh, Taiwana. Because then we can declare the mandate. Well, right now I don't even think I can declare the war on Ming. Because we don't border them. Right? Yeah, we have trade protection, humiliate rivalry. You need to border them. And I think bordering them here with a... Uh, with a sea tile, I think that's close enough. But we... Actually, no, that's not close enough because we bother them here. Huh. So I might have to go to war with Korea before we do that. Alright, that's fine. So let's go ahead, build a spy network here. And we might as well take over this trade post. Um, or this coastal center of trade. Just to give us even more power over that node. Uh, so that's fine. Um, we're building the heavy ships. So we'll, we'll increase our navy strength. What is the... Uh, Ming Navy. Um, Ming Navy's at 20, 25 heavies. Gee. 
they are really increasing that quite a bit. All right, well, I I I have to do that as well. All right, so we'll build five more heavies then. Um, and actually, I don't have enough money just yet, so next month I'll be able to uh, to go for it. And we'll just build five ships here. Okay, so what is my what's the technology look like? Well, that's the institutions. So we are at 12 to 12. China's at 11, 12, 11. But we can easily get the new military tech if we want to. All right, peace offer. I will decline. No need to accept this right now. So the only ones who will... Brunei will get the institution, but will take him out eventually. And same with Machapahit. So that's fine. No one will steal my institutions. Okay, no Europeans have arrived here yet. Um, oh, extra base tax. I'll take the base tax. Thank you very much. In Kendari. Uh, especially because it's spices. Uh, the uh, base production is going to be very helpful. Or maybe it was base tax. I actually don't remember. Um, but regardless. We've got rebels in Hosokawa separatists. Of all people. Huh. Well, that's interesting. That's over here in these lands. In Harima and Aki. Oh, I see. Mm. Yes. Well, fine. Well, actually, not so fine. I'll try and suppress you. What I can do is send my transport to bring you guys over. Yes. And I'm not sure how... Yeah, I will definitely increase this here. I don't want any rebels up here because I won't send any troops there. Uh, Bhutan has fallen, um, but let me quickly check out, we are, can take 11 overextension, I think this would be a bit more, this is 14 overextension, so we'll have to wait, but we can get a lot of money from that, very nice, so is there any, are there any calls coming in right now, no, okay, so we'll have to wait, we'll have to uh, stay at peace for a little bit. And actually, now that we talk about it, I might send my transport to just pick you up. Uh, I do not need you. And I'll send you home, probably. Because there's no need to have you anymore. I'll send you to uh, here, Musashi. Uh, natives has risen up, that's fine. How, how are our colonies going? 500, so it'll take a while. We lose sailors, oh no! <laughs> that is not really concerning me. And then I'll send you, actually, you know what, I'll probably send you to Harima instead. Where's my navy? There you go. I'll send you here instead. Because that's obviously where we have these rebels pop out, and we might as well suppress them. Don't need them. Mm -hmm. We have Chinaware in Poso, that's a good one as well. And now I'll pick up, I'll do what I had in mind the entire time. Actually upgrade the ship and we'll pick up these 3,000 men. And how many more troops can I build afterwards? Five more, five more troops. So that will be six, two. So I could build like four more infantry and one cannon. And I think that's what I will do. Some more banner infantry. Uh, one, two, three, four, and a cannon five. Sweet. We've got some more things that we can core. And yeah, Bhutan, you're just gonna have to wait, man. I'm sorry, but we can't really, I can't really piece you out at the moment. We'll also send our heavy fleet to heal up. In fact, you know what? I can just mothball you. We we'll can save a little bit of cash because I don't need you. There's no, there no more wars I want to fight here necessarily. I'm pretty much done for now. And ooh, high naval attrition. Oh, well that's fine. Oh wow, actually. Oh, I I know. Right, that was the ship that we uh, right. That was the ship that I just upgraded. Ah, that was a waste of money. Ah, oh well, not not a big deal. We'll wait one month, and now they're fully healed, and we'll send you to Ari. Okay. 
So we're set and ready to go to war. Ming is about to pass their last reform, and that is when we need to strike. But we need a golden age before that. Well, no, I will have to strike at it uh, at, at Ming regardless. If we have a golden age or not, a golden age would just help. But if we can't get one, then you know we'll have to declare war without. But I think we can do that. Um, anyways, I think I'll end this episode here at this point. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.